What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Uh, here we are out here again, uh, working on the uh, solar powered surveillance camera. Uh, sorry, it's super windy again, so hopefully you can hear me. But I got some, uh, some new U-bolts to, to work with this uh, solar panel mount. So I'm out here gonna, gonna make sure that this works and uh, get working on uh, mounting this, this solar panel to the top of this, this pole today. Um, so uh, let's try it out. I, uh, I did verify that the U-bolt will fit through those holes, so that's a good start. And it does fit around the outer diameter of the pole, so that's what we need. And then we've got a couple of uh, nuts here that you're going to put two nuts on on both sides with a washer. Uh, that'll uh, cinch it down nice and tight. And so we'll give you two of these, so there's two U-bolts and, and so forth. So we'll get those uh, mounted up. Okay, so here we have them both on there. Um, they're not in their final location or anything like that, but as you can see, that's kind of how the U-bolt holds them on. We'll put another nut on each each of these sides and up there, and then we're gonna put them up at the top, and basically the solar panel will sit. There's some arms that come off the bottom, and the solar panel will sit kind of at an angle. Uh, we're out here, it's the next morning. Again, I apologize for the wind. We've also got some noise from the John Deere dealer next door, but um, what I'm going to do this morning, I've got to attach these support arms to this bottom bracket here uh, with some some hardware. So I'm going to do that. They're going to come out horizontally this way uh, to support the bottom of the panel. So I'm going to get those uh, lined out first. Okay, here we have uh, these other two arms that basically go from the top down to the bottom angle of this forming somewhere around a 60 to 75 degree angle for the solar panel to sit at depending on where you're located and so forth. So we've got some little uh, some T-bolts or whatever that slide into these channels and then I'm going to attach it to the top here. I'm actually going to get up on the truck and put this up at its final resting place, the top mount, and then uh, we'll get these mounted in, and then that's going to determine where we end up putting the bottom mount. Okay, so here we have this thing mounted to the top here, um, but we need to get the, set the angle a little bit better. Uh, this, this angle would be good in the winter where the sun is kind of low in the horizon, but not so good the rest of the year. So I'm just going to give a couple more uh, degrees there just so it's kind of a middle ground and then tighten everything down and get ready to put on the solar panel. Okay, so now we have these little tabs that go on the top of this channel here. And those are gonna, that's going to hold the, the solar panel kind of going to kind of sit long ways that way. Uh, just to have it tall enough for this 100, 100 watt solar panel. So there will be two of these clamps that'll hold the bottom and then to the top and that's how it connects to this mount so I'll go ahead and uh, I'm not gonna be able to tape while I do this but uh, I'll put the solar panel on there tighten it all down and uh, then we'll get onto the wiring okay here it is mounted got all of these little feet cinched down tight so it's not going anywhere it wiggles a little bit in the wind but not too bad so now next we're going to connect these MC4 connectors here on the back of this solar panel. Uh, connect them into the wire that we have spooled up into this uh, cabinet here. So I'm taking these two from the load, I'm sorry, the solar side of the charge controller, running them down into their own little grommets here. These are, these are weatherproof uh, grommets that that tighten down to, to grip the wire and to prevent um, rain and bugs and stuff. So put them in, each in their own grommet so there's no risk of any shorting out or anything like that. And, uh, and then on the, the other end I'm going to measure 
into these MC4 connectors. We're gonna zip tie them where they need to be and so forth. And then um, cut it to length and then attach these, uh, these MC4 connector ends uh, that I've got. Basically, you just crimp down these, uh, I don't know, aluminum or whatever they are, um, pieces, and then they go inside these, these weatherproof uh, black uh, connectors that are uh, male and female, so they're really easy to use. Uh, make sure you don't uh, get your positive and negative uh, mixed up. Anyways, these are perfect for solar. They're designed for solar, and uh, I highly recommend that you use them if you can. Um, there's there's these uh, little wrenches you can get that help you to to connect the weatherproof uh, black part, um, cinch it down, and then there's some uh, some crimpers, a, a tool. You don't need this. I've done it without it, but. Um, this tool will help you uh, kind of crimp down on that uh, aluminum piece uh, there that actually conducts the electricity. So that's what we're going to do and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, so we got it wired up. Uh, as, as I mentioned, got it going from the solar connections on the charge controller down through these little grommets and under, I'm going to clean this up later and kind of sheath it so it doesn't short out down there but uh, goes up kind of hugs the pole it comes up to these MC4 connectors connect it up nice and snug rain proof uh, you know elements proof and then up to the solar panel so let's connect the battery and we'll get it charging up and then that'll be it for this video okay it's all set uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see the the light is on, the green light there, um, but uh, the battery is has a good status and uh, it does not appear to be charging. It appears to be uh, fully charged, topped off. So I'm going to check the voltages here, make sure everything's working, and then my work is done for the day. Okay, it's charging now. Um, I don't know if you can see it blinking, but I had a little bit of a, a connection problem, got it fixed and uh, we're all set so uh, check the voltages they're all good and I still need to tidy up the wiring a little bit but I'm gonna leave that for another time anyway thanks for watching guys see you next time